Okay. Trying this out here. Um, let's see if I can't get it a little closer, maybe. Yeah, it's about as good as it's going to get. So, anyway, so if you saw the first post, which you can still see because it's still up, um, I uh, started this, or I got some more work done on it between when I did that post and, uh, and right now, so I figured I would go ahead and make this video if you would like to see it, so it's kind of an awkward way to work, so bear with me. I've got my tripod that I finally found set up, so if you want to sit and watch me paint beard hair, uh, <clears throat> I guess we can kind of use this time as a little timely update on stuff that's going on. Um, so this is, uh, oh and if you hear, it's very very possible you'll hear dogs and or cats because they're in the next room so I apologize for that um, anyway so yeah what's new um, same old same old 2021 just keeps kicking trucking along here been dealing with some flooding not me personally but my town a lot of flooding going on. Got a bunch of ice and then a bunch of water. Go figure, right? Uh, February was a uh, big old kick in the kick in the butt, but uh, got out of that. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully when it gets warmer here, things will calm down a bit. Um, what else is going on? I uh, haven't really been getting to shoot very much just because of the ammo situation. I'm trying not to blow all my ammo here, but uh, I'm sure several folks are in the same boat. Um, so I've just been doing a lot of dry practice. I did get a... Oh, 1911, which I uh, definitely didn't need, but uh, I ended up trading some stuff to get it. I just kind of, it's basically, it's a Dan Wesson specialist, which I have already changed some stuff on here, so pretty cool. Changed the grips and the mainspring housing and trigger and did some other stuff, so... And it is, of course, in God's caliber, 45 ACP. So, it's a pretty awesome gun. I shot it the other day. And, uh, works perfectly, as I would expect, from Dan Wesson. Um, so, yeah. Got that going on. A little bit of, I don't know, I'm kind of like, Getting back into more simple, simple gun stuff. I think I'm kind of. I don't know. I was I was rolling with some some Berettas for a while there, and those are cool and everything. But it's just. Uh, and I know 1911s aren't really simple, but they are. As far as you know, not doing the crazy stuff with the red dots and everything, um, but, um, I don't know, maybe down the road I will again, but I kind of like the idea of just having, having some, uh, you know, just good old, good old 45 and plain, plain Jane sights and I mean, it's it's funny because it's a it's actually a really if you think about the 1911, it's kind of like a it's still I mean, it's a souped up version of a 1911. It's not a custom gun, obviously, but it's uh, it's pretty 
it's pretty upgraded considering the original design and everything so but now it's you know considered sort of low tech as it were just considering all the new guns that are out and you know optics and everything which are super awesome definitely definitely like them but uh there's something satisfying about working with an old gun and uh so yeah i'm gonna do that for a while and uh should be fun so sorry this video is not very interesting and i'm sorry that the quality is not very good this video does not look very good on this phone and I can't really zoom in very well without it kind of getting weird. Like, it's really washed out, and I don't know why. So, yeah, sorry about that. This is, uh, I'm just, on, I'm using my phone, so. <laughs> Not a whole lot I can do right now, but. Anyway. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, not a whole lot. Just trying to. Trying to survive the COVID wasteland. Um, yeah, ready for normal normal life again if we ever see it. Probably not gonna happen for a while. Uh, Okay, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how I post, uh, post vaccine world looks like. Hopefully it's back to some, some kind of normalcy. I just want to go to the movie theater again. I know that sounds trivial, but I'm ready to I'm ready to just do stuff again. Not that I ever really did anything to begin with. This is not this has not been a huge transition for me as it has been for a lot of people. You know, I know a lot of people that like to go out and and uh, do a whole lot of stuff and go to concerts and stuff and everything and I, I was not I'm not one of those people so that was not a big deal to me but but uh, you know like everybody's got their thing that they wish were back to normal so just gotta stay positive right it'll happen eventually I don't think the human race is really meant to be sequestered from each other like this, you know, disease or not, it's kind of like, I mean, we had, we, we made it through, you know, things like, eat, you know, the bubonic plague and, you know, diseases like that, and uh, people were, people didn't really have a choice back then necessarily, I mean, that's, that's one consideration, of course, but there's a, uh, I think there's also a lot to the idea that we're just kind of, you know, we, we, we developed, we adapted to be around each other, and, you know, that's why social media is such, such a bad thing, honestly, I mean, it's, it's great for a lot of things, I can't really complain, because I use it to my advantage for business, and it's the only reason I'm able to do this and get to everybody, but, um, in a lot of ways, it's, it's a, it's not healthy, you know, but it's like anything. It's like video games or alcohol or whatever. You just got to moderate it, and people aren't very good at that, I don't think. You know, myself included, I'm not very good at moderation. <laughs> so it's uh, it's tough, but... Oh, shoot, sorry, I was painting off, off the screen. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's see. Move around, I'm trying to move around a little bit on this. Not with watercolor, you don't really want to let it um, pool up necessarily and keep overworking 
one area, you know, you get too much water and the paper starts to get weird. So you kind of have to move around and pick different areas and let stuff dry, then go back to it. And, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll try to try to do a little bit more here. Maybe work on the shirt or something a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you all are familiar with uh, Aaron Cowan of Sage Dynamics. He's got a pretty awesome YouTube channel, and I've taken like a half-day class with him once. Force on Force class, it was really good, but he uh, he commissioned this, actually, so. I didn't know if he wanted anybody to know or not when I posted the per first picture, so I just said a customer. <laughs> Yep, this one is for him, and uh, he's liking it so far, so that's good. It's kind of a different thing that I, I don't normally do painting anymore. So, I'm getting back into it. I was trying to find my, my paint. Like, I literally just have a tray, which is funny. It's just this kind of nasty tray that has paint all over it that I use and just keep adding to. It's kind of funny, but... I just had it sitting over in a corner. I haven't used it in like a year, <laughs> like literally. And uh, I was like, oh, big old, big old piece. Yeah, I could do this as a drawing, but, you know, I am going to do some drawing on it. But I think the majority of it's going to be like this just because it's faster and it's, I think it looks better in this bigger, this size of a, a thing. Then, uh, look at that, I can't color in the lines. <laughs> uh, but I think it looks I think it'll look better than if I had done this in colored pencil and um, one bad thing is I can't find my my paint so if I run out of this blue like for instance I'm gonna be kind of screwed unless I can find it because I might need more of it and I've only got a tiny bit left on this plate so that's gonna be fun to do Oh yeah, I'm just kind of doing it sort of loose. With this brush. That's the beauty of watercolor, really, is being able to just kind of make these really cool loose kind of brush stroke things. And I know a lot of people don't don't care for watercolor so much as far as doing it. Uh, I have a lot of students that were not fans of working with it. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people I went to school with weren't really big into it, but, and also it's kind of like watercolor has that old lady kind of vibe to it, so, uh, you know, at least, uh, when you think about like old ladies in the park or something, or church, church ladies doing Wednesday night painting classes or something. I don't know. It's it's actually a thing around here. I don't know if it is for anybody else, but so uh, yeah. But I like it. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's uh, let's do this right here. Watercolor is an interesting medium. Really takes a lot of finesse to kind of move it around on the paper and not get not let it get away from you, which invariably it does. It it always does. Like right there, it just got away from me. <laughs> so not uh yeah, didn't want that to happen, but I'm kind of painting at an awkward angle here, but I can fix that. That's not a big deal. Uh, not a big deal. So I'm just kind of just kind of laying some color down here. I'm gonna go back in and do some more finer details here and there. You know. Um, 
probably the one downside to showing a work in progress like this is you know it's it's a work in progress and people will see it and be like oh that's not that good when it's like well it's not that good right now it's, you know, gotta give me give me some time here it'll look pretty cool I, I swear <laughs> at least I think it will um, but yeah See, that's kind of the cool thing about watercolor right there. You can you can do a lot with a little. You know, you don't have to... I mean, I, I do go back over areas here, but you can really... You can really do a lot, like with that, you know. And there's a thing here. But I'm going to have to stop working on this area, because... It's uh, starting to kind of, you can't see it on the film, but on, or on the camera, but it's starting to bubble up a little there. The paper is getting water, a little water, watery, logged, so don't want it to get too bad. So I'll move to another area here. See if we can scooch it over a little bit. Maybe work on this collar part over here a little bit better here. Okay. Yes. So. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is going on. Not a whole lot. Just trying to. Trying to get ahead. Still looking for a house. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the last video I did, which hasn't been too long ago, but. We went and looked at this really weird house the other day that we're definitely not going to get, but yeah, some people trying to sell some weird shit around here. <laughs> Apparently the market is not very good right now, so it's news to me. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, hopefully, I'll, uh, hopefully we'll get a get a house here at some point, but it might take a while. I don't know. Another bad thing about this size of painting or drawing or whatever is uh, I have to do it upright. I uh, can't really lean over. So, uh, kind of, I have to stop frequently. <laughs> Otherwise, my back starts killing me, which kills me all the time anyway. So, whatever, right? But, gotta, gotta take frequent stops, frequent breaks here. Oh, sorry. I was working off camera. I keep forgetting. The camera is weird to me. Like, I'm, I keep forgetting that I'm even using it. And actually need to do a little on the neck there. Um, yeah, I need to make that darker there. Zoom back out here. There we go. So you can see. I mean, I got a few things done just in the short time that I've been filming. It's looking pretty good, I think. It doesn't look very good on camera, to be honest. This camera does not like to show true color very well. It's kind of it's kind of weird. But um, anyway, I know probably most people aren't going to watch this anyway, so. I'll go ahead and cut it short, but uh, just figured I'd do a little rambling and and uh, set up the tripod and make a film. Film. I keep saying film, like I'm some hipster, which I guess I am. But some uh, some uh, video for you guys. Um, 
and uh, yeah, try and do it a little more often. Uh, you know, I keep, I know I say that, but it's a work in progress, you know. So, um, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you all have a good Sunday.